Welcome to the Northeast Kingdom Tourism Ambassador Program. This video has been designed to orientate you to the Northeast Kingdom Byway with a specific focus on the recreational opportunities that can be found along the corridor. If you take the time to explore the Northeast Kingdom Byway, you'll be introduced to a region where simplicity overshadows technology and the tapestry of hills, trees, lakes, and villages provide inspiration for artists, craftspeople, writers, and musicians. A stroll through the galleries, museums, studios, and workshops that can be found along the Byway Corridor will reveal the influence of time and tradition on the creative spirit that's taken root here. The Northern Forest Canoe Trail links the waterways of New York, Vermont, Quebec, New Hampshire, and Maine. Part of the canoe trail is in the Northeast Kingdom. This section crosses Lake Memphremagog, beginning in Quebec, and follows the Clyde and Nelhegan Rivers to the Connecticut River. Clyde River wetlands support rare natural communities where paddlers might catch glimpses of northern harriers among the sedge and bog willow. Vermont's most wild river, the Nelhegan River, drops through a basin of thick forests and boreal wetlands, home to Vermont's largest population of moose and largest deer yard and protected through the Nohegan Basin Division of the Silvio Oconte National Fish and Wildlife Refuge. The Northern Forest Canoe Trail offers maps, books, and web-based tools to help visitors connect to the 740-mile paddling route that traces a fascinating history from early Native Americans through European settlers. Northern Forest Canoe Trail also introduces visitors to the places and people that make waterway destinations along our route in the Adirondacks in northern New England inviting and exciting today. The route's variety of flat water, swift water, and white water on a range of rivers, streams, lakes, and ponds provides extensive opportunities for canoe and kayak recreation. Vibrant communities along the way offer inns, B&Bs, and camping facilities as well as other recreational and heritage attractions. Renowned for its breathtaking views and ski racing heritage, Burke Mountain is the best kept secret in the Northeast. Home of the Burke Mountain Academy, the preeminent ski academy in the country with 45 Olympians to its credit, Burke Mountain features sweeping winding trails, an average of 248 inches of snowfall each year, 45 trails and glades on 250 acres of terrain, four terrain parks, and a vertical drop of 2,011 feet. A unique blend of friendly, genuine staff and traditional terrain define the character of one of the last remaining Vermont ski classics. If you're visiting in the summer months, the Burke Bike Park is available on weekends in July and August. The Burke Bike Park is a gravity downhill trail system and park accessed by the Sherburn Express High Speed Quad. From the top of the lift, riders can access single track and slope style trails rated from intermediate to advanced. Also available in the summer months is seasonal dining, live entertainment, and a series of summer events. Also located in Burke is Kingdom Trails. Hiking, biking, cross country ski, and snowshoe trails. It's all available here. Kingdom Trails also houses an area welcome center. Kingdom Trails boasts such a spectacular network of trails that it has earned a long list of accolades to include being rated the number one mountain bike destination in the East, recently voted Editor's Choice in the 2006 edition of Yankee Magazine Travel Guide to New England. It's been featured in Yankee Magazine as one of the 10 thrills of a lifetime for a family getaway in New England and it's been named Best of New England by Boston Magazine Travel and Life. The Linden Outing Club is a community organization in Lindenville run entirely by volunteers. The goal of the organization is to provide a fun and safe skiing experience that is affordable for everyone in the community or visiting the area. All that is required to ski or snowboard at the Outing Club is a day lift ticket or season pass. Located in West Charleston is Clyde River Recreation. This popular attraction offers kayak, canoe, small boat rentals, and all-inclusive river paddles on the Clyde River. The three-hour Lazy River Trip is the most popular offering. 
Kayaks, canoes, and life jackets are all available on site. Visitors simply park their car and are shuttled upstream along with the boats. Guests can then paddle back at their leisure to their vehicle. NEK Adventures is located in St. Johnsbury and is Vermont's only guide service that provides both snowmobile and ATV tour service. Traveling by ATV and snowmobile allows visitors to truly become a part of the landscape, giving them the opportunity to see Vermont's sites that most will miss traveling by car, including scenic vistas, wild and bird life in their natural habitat, and the unspoiled beauty of Vermont's farmland. NEK Adventure Tours are family friendly and slow paced, affording plenty of time to enjoy the beauty of Vermont's backcountry. The Memphremagog Ski Touring Foundation is a corporation that maintains and grooms cross country ski trails in Derby and on Mount Hoar in Willoughby State Forest. Their goal is to increase the number of people enjoying the quiet beauty of cross country skiing in the Northeast Kingdom. Memphremagog Ski Touring Foundation trails vary from flat to rather hilly with skate and classic machine grooming on the core network. Memphremagog Ski Touring Foundation is made possible by volunteer efforts, many generous landowners, and contributions from users. D&D Stables in East Burke offers horseback riding in the heart of the Northeast Kingdom. D&D provides visitors with rides ranging in length starting at one hour and increasing from there for individuals 12 years of age and older. D&D allows visitors to schedule their ride at a time that works for them with rides available from sunup to sundown. Trail Rider Magazine has described D&D rides as the quintessential Vermont experience. The Fenton Chester Arena, located in Linden Center, features public skating and hockey. The arena is available for private ice time during the winter months. Special events can be hosted at the arena during the warmer months and offers public skate times from mid-October through March. There's locker room, rentals, and a full snack bar available for visitors. Located in Newport, the Gardner Memorial Park features activities for every season including ice skating, volleyball, basketball, a skate park, soccer, playground, baseball field, hockey rink, and access to Lake Memphremagog. The park also features a grandstand, picnic shelter, snack shack, barbecue, picnic area, and much more for visitors to enjoy. The Newport Country Club features amazing views of Lake Memphremagog, Canada, and Jay Peak. This 18-hole par 72 golf course is open to the public and is also home to members from both sides of the U.S. and Canadian border. Following a round of golf, visitors can relax with a drink or meal on the spacious deck with pleasant views of the far-off Green Mountains. The St. Johnsbury Town Forest sits just off Almhouse Road in the heart of St. Johnsbury, a perfect place to recreate or relax it features a baseball diamond, a picnic pavilion, and a pleasant, quiet hiking trail system that are suitable for all level of ability. Located in Westmore, the Mount Pisgah trails overlook Willoughby Lake and offer stunning panoramic views. There are three trails on Mount Pisgah of varying lengths depending on how far you want to hike. The South Shore Trail is a short trail overlooking the beach at the south end of Lake Willoughby. The trail's a bit steep and narrow in places. The Herbert Hawks Trail is another short trail overlooking the beach at the south end of Lake Willoughby with a simple elevation gain of 600 feet and a relatively short distance of only 1.3 miles. The summit of the Mount Hoare Trail offers near views of several ponds in the valley to the west and a distant view of the Green Mountains. From the two Lake Willoughby overlooks, you'll have views of the lakes below and distant views of the White Mountains, Owl's Head, and Mount Orford. For an even longer hike, connect to the Moose Mountain Trail. Bald Mountain is the third highest peak in the Northeast Kingdom and provides one of the best views of the region from its recently restored fire tower. The summit of Bald Mountain is accessed by three hiking trails, the Telegraph Trail, the Mad Brook Trail, and the Long Pond Trail, although the Telegraph Trail is now seldom used and in disrepair.
The Long Pond Trail, also in Westmore, follows a gated logging road, climbs moderately to an open log landing, and then follows an old woods trail for a short distance before it turns eastward onto a well-worn path. The trail continues through open hardwoods, crossing some small streams, and then climbing more steadily into the subalpine spruce fir forest. After climbing several steep pinches and passing some rock outcroppings, the trail soon emerges on the mountain summit. The Mad Brook Trail in Westmore goes through a mixed forest where it follows an open woods road, climbing easily and then turning west where it briefly descends to the base of Bald Mountain and the first of two nearby stream crossings. From here, the trail climbs gradually around a large switchback and then more steeply up the mountain. Also in Westmore is Haystack Mountain. Haystack Mountain is a low but rugged peak and is aptly named for its abrupt sides that climb steeply from all directions. The peak is accessible by two trails, the North Trail and the South Trail, and offers excellent local views towards Long Pond, Bald Mountain, and beyond in several directions. The Westmore Town Forest contains a spectacular bog with many unique plants and a beaver pond. These can be viewed from a 200-foot bog walk. Visitors can park opposite to the Nature Conservancy sign on Pennahill Road. Maps of the 1.2-mile trail are available Monday through Thursday at the Westmore Town Clerk's Office. The Northeast Kingdom Byway offers endless recreational opportunities throughout the seasons. Notable dining and lodging facilities, quintessential Vermont villages resplendent with classic architecture, enduring farmland, and a rich diversity of art, unique shops, entertainment, and event venues all year long. We hope you'll take some time to view the other byway trainings and encourage visitors in the region to explore the Northeast Kingdom Byway.